So while my flexibility has reduced a lot in the recent years, the Lenovo Yoga 7 can really bend itself at all angles and this OLED version just has so many things going for it that it can really be a better alternative for a lot of people who are eyeing the MacBooks. The 14 inch OLED display that we have on this variant is a real stunner with its 2.8K resolution of 2880 by 1800 and it also runs at 90Hz which makes everything feel much smoother than a regular 60Hz screen. These OLED displays are really into a class of their own and these are just so much better than any other type of screen that I have tried. Having something like this just makes doing everything so much better and seeing complete blacks on a large screen like this just feels so amazing. It is also a glossy glass display which makes things look even sharper and it still doesn't catch a lot of fingerprints. Lenovo says that this is a 400 nit screen and it also supports Dolby Vision and HDR500 but one odd thing I found was that you cannot enable HDR without having the laptop plugged in which may have been done because HDR takes a lot of power but needing to be connected to wall just to watch HDR videos kind of sucks. Another thing that you may notice is that the touch matrix on this display is visible as a mesh like structure when you look at the screen from a few inches away and even though I really didn't find it to be bothersome, it can be visible sometimes on white backgrounds if you try to look for it. I think that the Zenbook S13 OLED that I had didn't have it visible at all so that is the only reason that I am mentioning this. The 4 speaker Dolby Atmos supporting setup that we have on board sounds really nice and decently loud at 50-60% to volume. Above that, they start sounding a bit tinny but these are really nice speakers overall. The panel is of course touch sensitive, it feels very responsive and Windows 11 keeps getting more touch friendly with time. So operating this is a real joy and I wouldn't buy a laptop these days without a touch screen. It also comes with Lenovo's digital pen which feels very responsive. Although it doesn't glide very smoothly on the glass screen of the device but using this for general navigation is really nice. This is a 2-in-1 device so you can use it in many ways. The nicely designed hinge can do a complete 360 degree rotation making this feel like a really big tablet and even though it just feels a bit unwieldy to use like this, it can be really nice for browsing websites like reddit or to watch videos in bed in landscape. Then there are other modes like a tent mode and the keyboard as a stand mode which can be useful in some cases but the device doesn't have any rubber inserts on these surfaces so the edges may get scratched if you are not careful. Apart from that, the laptop feels quite well built with a solid metal lid on top and I also like the minimalist aesthetic of it. Its 1.4 kg weight is light for a feature packed device and reducing it may have needed compromises on the build quality. We also have nicely rounded edges here which will make holding this comfortable in different ways. The keyboard is laid out very well like all Lenovo laptops. The backlit keys are well spaced and feel great to type on. The glass touchpad also feels great under your fingers but the click mechanism on it feels a bit cheap. On the left side we have an HDMI 2.0 port, a micro SD card reader and dual thunderbolt ports with support for 65 watts fast charging for which you do get a 65 watt type C power brick in the box. Then on the other side, you will find an audio jack, the side mounted power button and an always on USB 3.2 port which you can use to charge your devices. The Lenovo Yoga 7i starts with a Core i5-1235U and on this higher end variant we have a 12th generation Intel Core i7-1260P processor which is a 12 core 16 thread CPU. The CPU performance we have here is really great for a device like this with a score of around 4000 in Cinebench R20 and the single core score of 675 is also very impressive. As for its GPU, we have Intel's Iris Sexy graphics on board which are much better than their previous iGPUs and while this will definitely give you nice graphics performance in everyday apps, this is really not a gaming GPU because on medium settings we were just able to get 60fps on modern esports games like Rainbow Six Siege with it delivering 79fps on older titles like CSGO and then AAA games like Horizon Zero Dawn and Borderland 3 are really not that playable at 19 and 24fps. This is of course not advertised as a gaming device so this performance is fine but the Zenbook S13 did have a seriously faster iGPU with the Radeon 680M. The 16GB RAM on this is soldered so you can't upgrade that but you can upgrade the 512GB Gen 4 PCIe SSD on it. 
There is a single fan here that makes a moderate level of noise when it is on full load but it stayed off most of the time while doing regular everyday work and the thermals were also well controlled with the laptop getting moderately hot only on very heavy workloads. The 71 watt hour battery lasted for 8 hours in my video streaming test in which I had the screen on 40% brightness so while doing regular stuff you should get the clean battery life of 10 hours and that is really good. You can also kind of use it as an always on device as it only lost 5% overnight when I didn't shut it down. So overall, the Lenovo Yoga 7i is a really versatile device with an amazing screen, the performance is great, the battery life is awesome and it is just a very well designed 2-in-1 laptop without any obvious flaws. The pricing on the lower spec variant is around 92,000 rupees but adding another 20,000 rupees will be really worth it because it will give you that OLED upgrade, an extra 8GB of RAM, a faster processor and the digital pen. Now at 1.1 lakh rupees, you do reach the MacBook Air M2 category and that device is really tempting for a lot of people but I don't really consider the 256GB version of that MacBook to be very usable and if you try to get the 512GB version of it, it becomes 30% more expensive than this Yoga 7i so considering that you are getting an amazing OLED touch panel on this along with great hardware, battery life and performance, I think that it can really be a better choice for a lot of people especially those who consume a lot of media. So I'll have links to check this out in the video description. Let me know your thoughts about the yoga in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe with bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.